Perception is not nice anyway. What is paralysis? It's a bit scary. That's not really creepy either. So I'm here in the West London studio of Jimmy and Martin and the office manager Wilson the dog. So tell me you two, where did it all begin? On the dance floor. In the dance floor in Stockholm. 97. 1997. Yeah. And we then moved to London in 99. 98. 98. Mm -hmm. We get inspiration from everyday life really. No? Yeah. The fashion, interiors, music, art. Might be someone walking down the street. You never know what's got some in our heads. Yeah. Whatever piece of furniture we might come across, or a sculpture that we think, oh, that'd be really cool, and maybe doing something like this. Yeah, different different sources that you wouldn't expect. Maybe a furniture designer drawing inspiration yeah. because it's so visual. What we do, it, you could, it could be anything. Yeah. So, yeah, possibly. So you've got lots of fabulous cushions uh, behind me in the shop here. I love the ones that are like Dachshunds that divide into pairs or threes. Yeah. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah, that's the most popular ones, um, the Dachshunds. Yeah, we've done that. We started the first sausage of chairs, actually. Um, God, about 10 years ago, yeah. maybe, when we were based in Shoreditch. Um, started selling quite a few of those chairs, and we thought it could be quite fun to actually make a cushion of them. Yeah. So in the beginning, they only had the front and the back and then two years down the line, we decided let's make a middle section so you yeah. can actually make them as long as you want. Uh, people love it. So do you draw the dogs yourselves? We do all the artwork, or yeah. Jimmy does most of the artwork. Um, but so all the cushions that we have are from pieces of furniture that we've done. Which are originally yeah. hand-painted to start with, with acrylics or brushes or pens. And, mm. um, so there goes Wilson growling yeah. at somebody walking yeah. past. That's because Wilson. you haven't done a spaniel cushion. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's making his, his feelings clear. There's bassets, there's, there's, there's bassets. bulldogs, yeah, there's no, sausage dogs. dogs. Yeah, no wonder he's growling. But so, one of your newest ideas is a sculpture. I think they're the Naughty Angels. Yeah. I've definitely seen a, yeah. a, a Karl Lagerfeld in there. They're very naughty. Tell me about <laughs> them. End of the day, we're all angels, right? Right. And we're also <laughs> little devils. <laughs> and I think everyone can also have, you know, they all have kids who are also naughty little angels, and I'm sure we all are on a regular basis naughty angels. So this is actually representing all of us. I like to say me and Martin, but I think it's all of us. Yeah. Some are very oh, naughty, some are just decorative. Yeah. yeah, now they're really kicked off. I mean, people really seem to like them. Yeah. And we so never make two of the same, so. No. Oh, really? Each one is original? Yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. Well, it all, it all becomes original. It's quite happy, yeah. so we always vary them slightly. Yeah. But this so is great pieces for, for example, like, you know, a little corner piece in, in a room. You know, you have quite classic interiors, but you, you can put that little naughty thing is, which is mm. not in your face, but it's that little thing, and once you get closer, it's, it's like, oh, wow, oh, that's fun. But when you get closer, like this chair, for example, you're sitting on, you have a bit of text and graffiti on it. And it just gives you that little extra edge on it. Yeah, something unexpected. Yeah, yeah. Still being classy, you know. Yeah. So obviously you're both Swedish, but you've lived here for a long time now, yeah. and your influence is clearly quite sort of British punk. Is that where it started for you? Um, I think it's what yeah. London does to you, really. Uh, you live here and you live and breathe London and, and fashion, and art, and pop culture. You can't help to get in, like, inspiration or, or effect. Like when you with design, there's so much of the British design is, is, is has that kind of feeling to it. And if you're looking yeah, at fashion, definitely. fashion business, for example, who's the most daring designers out there? This, you know, you have McQueen, you have Westwood, you know, you have they really put a put a mark down on the uh, on the world. You know, being you know, this is Britain. A this daring is cool. to be different as well. Yeah. yeah. So what's next for you guys then? Um, we're busy, we have lots of things going on, we're doing some exhibitions. So we also have um, uh, China tableware. Oh, that's mm -hmm. new for you then, yes. is it? That's yeah, we fantastic. Just, we just sent yeah. off to, to some clients in the States. Uh, we're going to create our own first collection, which is based on some chairs, like the cushions are as well. Yeah. It's non-stop, really. Sounds like it. <laughs> yeah.